Today, I'm gonna build a carnival in Minecraft Hardcore. This sounds like a really cool project. Think about it. Carnival, Ferris wheel, rides, games, all in Minecraft. I'm not gonna lie, this sounds incredibly fun. And I think I'm gonna put it over there by my giant ore statue. Stay here. So I did some scouting and I quickly realized this place was gonna be perfect. But first, I gotta put my new skeleton horse friend in the barn. So you can go with the cow, I guess. Eh, sure. So I think first off, I wanna build a giant Ferris wheel because that seems like the most iconic thing at a carnival. So how am I gonna build that? BRB. So I hopped into a separate creative mode world and began working on a gigantic epic Ferris wheel. And I can say with total confidence this is gonna look amazing. Okay so I'm probably gonna need a lot of materials which I don't have a lot of. So we're gonna have to go on a big mining spree. Please be empty. Please be empty. Oh I am just the biggest slob. It's time to organize things. I would literally kill for an auto chest sorter. I hate doing this so much. And as I do this, please subscribe and hit the bell. Nether star? Why haven't I used that yet? I'm making a beacon. And I will take care of you later. But carrying on, I grabbed my shulker boxes and flew down to a big cave to go collect a ton of resources like andesite and diorite. And just like that, we got a lot of polished andesite and quite a lot of lo logs? Walls. Diorite walls, not diorite logs. But next up on the agenda, I need a lot of glass, which I know I don't have. I have panes, but I need blocks. So I'm gonna have to smelt up some sand. Do I got any fuel? Yeah, sure. All right, smelt up. Take it all. I am very curious. Is it easy to make a super smelter? I've heard those are like insane where it's like a big redstone furnace that goes really fast. I might do that one day. So satisfying. And as all that junk smelts up, I'm gonna go grab some wool. We're using andesite and diorite for the actual ferris wheel like mechanism, but we're gonna use wool for the actual like carts to sit in. Thereby making the place colorful and amazing. Why is there white wool in there? Oh, I forgot to re-dye them. I may have had to do some tinkering in here when I built the rocket ship. I have so many colors except for yellow because I forgot to re-dye them and I'm an idiot and I hate myself so I gotta go get some more. Dang it. Aha! I need yellow dye. And I then took a visit to my backup sheep supply. Aha! They're still here. I love myself for not killing these guys. Get wrecked, sheep. Oh, I'm in the pen. And boom, there we go. All the colors we need. Now let's go get our glass. And perfection. What do you mean? It's my bedroom. Where are they? I'm gonna find them. Aha! Cave! This is my bedroom. Oh my gosh, there's so much cave here. Yeah, he's holding a stick. Where'd you get that? That's my stick. I pay rent here. I then carried on gathering up materials. Doink. One thing I never understood about Minecraft is why do some places have tons of animals then like my base has none near it? Not a soul, except for you. I kinda sorta forgot I need quartz, so BRB. <laughs> Guys, look at me. Oh. Oh my gosh, you can see the villagers in that pen! Oh dear, ignore that, ignore that. You saw nothing. All right, it is Ferris wheel time. And oh my goodness, we have a lot of materials. Now before I build the Ferris wheel, I do gotta kinda think about where things are gonna go. Cause this carnival might be pretty massive, honestly. Behold, our area. So over here, we have a small walkway to go over to the sand castle. I got some ore statues down here where these boxes are. And of course, I wanna have a big Ferris wheel, probably somewhere over here near the pathway, like that area. Maybe over here can be like the game area, for like fun carnival games and I probably want like a circus or some like grand buildings Maybe that'll be like back behind here. Well, all right then let's get some materials and let's begin work on the ferris wheel So off I went building the massive foundation for this project Oh, and by the way, this design was heavily inspired by light D on planet minecraft out of all the things I've built in this world This is by far the most annoying. There's just so much parkour involved to build it like it's literally a parkour course Oh my goodness. This build is taking forever. We're only like halfway done. We only have one car on here. This is like a really big project, but I gotta take a quick pause in the action because I need more glowstone for the middle and I'm willing to bet I'll need some more diorite too at some point. So let's go get some more stuff. Follow me this way. In we go. Hey there guys, how you doing? And we fly. Where's glowstone? All on the roof. Why is it all on the roof? Where's some easier to get spots? Aha, uh -huh, just what I wanted. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Ooh, 
Ooh, is that a fortress down there? All right, here's the rule. I find one chest, I loot it, and I leave. Have I been here before? Maybe I have. Hello? Housekeeping? Uh, I've been here before. Absolutely. Hey, Pedro. Whap. See you later. Back home we go. Oh, wow. I can't wait till that's all done. That's gonna look insane. Hold on one second, though. I need more fireworks. Gimme, gimme, gimme. And booyah. If you guys have a cool name for my skeleton horse, comment it down below. Preferably something bone related. All right, back to work we go. So I continued on making this gigantic circle, which by the way, used an incredible amount of andesite walls. But after that, I used all my colored wool to make beautiful rainbow carts going around the whole thing. Well, all right, behold the giant Ferris wheel. It looks absolutely wonderful. It's colorful. It's epic. I love it. I walk up right here. I open up the little door and I hop inside and we can pretend it's going around in a circle. You know what's insane? The guy that inspired me to make this build literally made his with redstone. I could never do that. But that being said, it's now time for our next addition to the carnival. And I think I want to start making some games. And I got many cool ideas, but the one I really want to do first is the target game. The concept is very simple. I take a target block, I take a bow, I try and hit the target and win the prize. Very original idea. So how do I make a target block? Target. Hay and redstone. All right, easy. Boom and boom. And there we go. I then got some more materials and just like that, it was time to build. I guess it can go right over here behind the Ferris wheel. Sure, why not? Let's do it. So we're gonna make a little bit of a carnival tent right across here. Make it pretty long. I'm not gonna lie, I have no clue how to make a tent. I'm just totally winging it right now. Fingers crossed! I'm not gonna lie, not bad at all, but I need more like decorations here. And I think I might have a cool idea. I need some hanging stuff, so why don't I hang some chains? I mean, I could make banners too, but I don't like banners, they're annoying. No banners for me. And let's see, just the little things in here. You know what? Sure, it looks festive, it looks carnival-y. I'll take it, nice. Put some path lines in for the shooters. Something here is still missing though. Oh my gosh, I got it. Please tell me I have them, please. Do I have any redstone lamps? I have three, I need more. But lucky for us, we did go mining for extra glowstone somewhere. Ah, right there. And I put these up here and this way, if I hit the target, it'll ring the light and show that we won the game. Perfection. Ah, this is gonna be so much fun. Now, after all that, I still was missing one key element. Now for the final thing, I need to think of a prize to give away if someone hits the target. Now, I could do diamonds, but that's kind of, you know, basic and everyone does diamonds. So I think I have a better idea. If I go to my mob loot chest, I have some mob skulls. So imagine these as like mob, like plushies or something. I don't know. I don't care. I like it. Oh, the grand prize. Yes. And I guess the prizes can go like maybe hanging from the ceiling like that. Yeah, sure. Why not? And there we go. The prizes are all set here. Shall we give it a try? Ready, line myself up, get ready, and... Ugh. I won! Give me that dragon back. No, I'm kidding. You can keep that. But that does give me a better idea. I'm pretty sure there's an achievement that involves hitting a target block, right? Oh! Hit the bullseye of a target block from at least 30 meters away. Oh, I can do that easily. All right, one, two, three, and right about here. All right, let's do this thing. Ready? Oh, come on, I've surely hit it by now. The whole dang thing's on fire. Look at this, I must have hit it. Are you kidding me? Stupid flame bow, I can't see anything. BRB. All right, this time I'm definitely gonna get it. <gasps> Excuse me, I've hit the bullseye. Look, there's proof, I've hit it. This is some RGN right here. As a matter of fact, I'm doing this all wrong. We're gonna go for the trick shot, ready? 360 spin a rabbit in the air. What I tell you guys, I'm the trick shot master. Okay, you caught me. I used some redstone magic to make a little system where I can drop an arrow safely onto a target block while still being 30 meters away. And don't call it cheating, I definitely hit it the first time. I'm a genius. Oh, that was funny. But carrying on, let's go make some more carnival games. Off we go. Why, oh, I'm out of fireworks. Oopsies. I guess I'll walk back home. Fish jump, fish jump, Enderman in a boat jump. Why are you guys here? That's so funny. So while brainstorming ideas, I did some terraforming and then I had the perfect idea. Oh my gosh, I just got the best idea for a game ever. We're gonna make a dunk tank game. It's that game where you'd shoot a target and if you hit the target, the person gets dunked in the water. That sounds so fun and I have an amazing twist on that. So let's do that. I've used all the wood, I guess. One of these days, I really gotta make an auto tree farm. I hate chopping my own wood. I'm a king. It should be automated for me.
Okay, so how am I gonna do this? So I guess we'll put our dunk tank in the middle, put our seat up here, like maybe there, and I'll put the target right there, and if I hit it, it should fling that thing down, right? Oh wait, I'm being dumb, I need redstone. And a little while later, I figured out the redstone. It's very simple. I hop up onto this step. If someone shoots this thing, it dunks me in the tank. I'll put this line here so nobody can cross and cheat, and boom. Side note, I love the pathway idea. We should make pathways go into all like the games and rides. Looking good, looking good, but now here comes the real question. Who's gonna go in the dunk tank? Enter Farzee's great idea. What if I trapped a skeleton right here in a cage and made him try and shoot the target and I'll sit in the dunk tank? So I'm gonna need, ow, a doctor and a name tag. Do I have any up here? I'm gonna guess, yes, Bob. How about I rename you? Random child, I like that. So I'll go right here and I'll make a little container for this guy, I guess. It's definitely not the prettiest, but it'll get the job done. No zombies allowed, nope, nope. No, no, not four spiders. You guys can't participate in the carnival. Oh, yes. Come here. Come here. Come here. Get inside here. Get in. Get in. Get in. Yes, you're in. He's in. He's in. <gasps> he shot me with my thorns and he died. That is unbelievable. Well, all right. We try again or not. Third time's a charm. Yes, yes, yes. Armor off quick. All right. Close the doors. So you can't escape. Please don't kill me. It's a carnival. It's not that serious. And get name tagged. Random child. Welcome. All right. It's game time now. Come on, dude. Hit the target. Hit the target. No, you're shooting too high. Come on. He's too good at this game, man. It's so annoying. I'll save you some time. We could not make this work. Well, guys, it was a good idea. It's not working out. Sorry, buddy. You're dead. He's just simply too OP at shooting. Like, come on. But have no fear. I have a backup plan. I'll be taking you. Come on, my friend. And I can stand here, shoot that. And boom, you're dunked. <laughs> as cool as the skeleton idea would have been, this is also pretty cool. But the one thing I'm still missing is the prizes like we had on the first game tent. So I decided we're gonna go end busting and get some more dragon heads. One thing's for sure though, I'm not going to the end with bread. I'm getting something better. Hello there, gentle ow. Hello there, gentlemen. How are we doing? Give me some emeralds, please. And with these emeralds, I now can buy golden carrots, the tastiest carrot in the world. We out of here. Let's get to the end. Or as I like calling it, the moon. Ah, the moon. My favorite moon of them all. I'm just gonna need one Enderman eyeball. Thank you very much. Way to go. Don't kill me. That was a close one. And kaboom. And we're here. So that being said, it's adventure time. Let's go fly to the abyss and find some pirate ships. Ooh, pirate ship. We have our grand prize. Gimme. Oh, but yeah, give me that, please. And more importantly, I need some baseball lessons. Ho, oh, oh, ho, oh, ho, so good. I'm a Minecrafter and an athlete. Oh, and I can fly too. I'm the best. Putting my abilities aside, I raided the end city, killed some shulkers, and flew out to find more. Another one. Oh my gosh, they're like right next to each other. Oh my gosh, another one there too. What the heck? This is the best seed ever. Ah, oh, I forgot. Elytra's here. I'll take a spare. <laughs> Oh gosh, this is risky. Catch it, catch it, catch it. Oh, I'm so good. So yeah, I pretty much kept looting and things went smoothly. Oh my gosh. Well, smooth-ish. I'm not even lying. This might be the best end raid I've ever done. I think we're all good in the end department. Let's get back home. I'm not sure where home is. Aha, I found my way back. I flew straight to the home island. That's so funny. And we're back home. Everybody get some prizes. Boom. I definitely need more mob heads, but for now I can't do that because no thunderstorm. Actually, I can because I have a wither skeleton farm. There we go, more prizes. And now since I have more shulker boxes, we can get back to building. And oh boy, here comes a big build. We are now going to build ourselves a circus. Now, if I'm being totally honest, I don't know if circuses actually fit in with the whole carnival idea, but I'm gonna put it there because I like circuses. But first, I wanna take a ride in the Ferris wheel. Let me in, ah! Oh my goodness, look at that view of the sand castle and the lighthouse and the trading hall and all this fun stuff. I love this world so much, man. All right, no more messing around. Let's go get the circus on. So we started out by doing some terraforming, then followed up by getting some materials such as wool, spruce wood, and even some warped wood from the nether. Now at this point, I actually found a wandering trader, but my microphone was accidentally muted. But I can assure you, we took good care of him. But after all that, it was time to build this beautiful circus, which was designed by Nevada. Nevada 31 on planet Minecraft. Trust me, I tried making my own circus. It didn't look good. 
Well, all right, the circus is done, and more importantly, my mic is no longer muted. I can speak to you guys again, but look at this place. It looks amazing. It's blue, it's red, it's colorful, it's epic. It's everything. It's perfect. I absolutely love the shape of it, how it's like fat at the bottom and gets like skinnier. It really looks like a circus tent, so amazing design here. And we walk inside to this beautiful stage that I made myself. This is a Farsi original right here. Very challenging, I know. Oh yeah, and I also put a beacon here. I kind of talked about it before, but I was muted. But anyways, guys, yeah, I think we're all good with the carnival for today. But I do want to say, I am not even close to being done with the whole carnival in total, you know? I want to add so many more things in the future, like more games, maybe like a roller coaster, maybe like a bounce house, things like that. I got so many cool ideas for this place. But before we carry on, I gotta talk about something really important. Last episode, I said if the video got 4,000 likes, I would do whatever the top commenter said. But sadly, you guys just missed it. It. But have no fear, I have an offer you can't refuse. If this video gets 4,000 likes, I will make my girlfriend play Minecraft in my hardcore world. I told her about the idea, she said she's down, but most importantly, guys, she does not play Minecraft. She does not know what she's doing. And we are in hardcore Minecraft, so if she dies, that stinks. So yeah, like the video. But anyways, with the carnival out of the way, I gotta take care of something else today. I wanna do some more achievement hunting today. I really wanna get all the achievements in the game, and there's one that I've been thinking about doing for a while. And that one is Star Trader. Trade with a villager at the build height limit. This might be annoying to do, but I want to do it because it'll be fun. So how should I go about this? I'm thinking soul sand elevator. So I'll need some kelp and I will need a villager. You sir, stay right there. All right, good. And now I guess I just build up with blocks all the way to the height limit. All right, we're here. So I guess I'll build a little platform out here so the villager's safe. And we go, soul sand. Water up here at the top. And now I break that block, I put some kelp there, and see ya, buddy. Is he up here? <gasps> he drowned, he's not up here. All right, take two. Please, work this time, please, please. I'm following him, I'm right behind him, come on. <gasps> this one worked, this one worked. All right, give me a trade. I don't have any emeralds on me, do I? Stay here, do not move. I need emeralds. All right, we're back. You're here. All right. Give me bread. We did it. Star Trader. Let's go, buddy. Thank you so much. Why does the ground look so dark and scary right now? Well, thank you very much, sir. You're no longer needed. Bye. Have a good time. Now to tear this thing down. But in conclusion of all that, we have our achievement. We have our carnival. Things are looking good. So if you guys have any cool ideas for carnival games or things like that, comment it down below. But on that note, I'm going to end it here. So make sure to like, subscribe, do all the good stuff. I'll talk to you guys next time. So until then, goodbye.